So Marcina, my last question that I'm going to ask you in terms of your passions outside of the paper mill is regards to, you know, furthering your education. So a lot of people on this call are probably wondering, I see Marcina wearing a Penn State shirt. I didn't know Penn State even had a paper school. Well, guess what, guys? That's not what this is about. Marcina has decided that, you know, now that she's been outside of school for a few years, she wants to now tackle an MBA. Like many people, there's always something that she wants to put herself and make that next goal, make herself uncomfortable, reach newer heights. You know, we all get it. So, you know, what was your biggest motivator, Marcina, in getting that MBA? And then also, you know, for individuals that are looking to round themselves out in the business world as well, you know, what are some tips that you might have in regards to their program search? i.e. why did you choose Penn State? Uh, so the first part of that, I'll start with, um, and my, my first thought to get an MBA was actually my undergrad. Um, having these dreams, being in paper, you know, moving my way up, um, understanding and, and understanding the business and the industry as a whole. Um, at TAPI events, seeing, you know, different different speakers and understanding where they came from and not necessarily having just an engineering background, but maybe a finance background and, and the critical roles they play in these successful companies in the industry. And, and that's kind of when I first was like, well, I want to get my MBA. Um, but a lot of the, the conversations that are had of undergrads um, when asked, you know, should I stay and get my MBA now or do I even need an MBA? Um, most in most professionals will tell you you don't need an MBA, uh, especially in the paper industry. And so, I I've heard that a lot as well. And and it was almost discouraging at a point, right? And and seeing like, well, okay, I I know I'm getting the exposure I need, uh, but I wanted to take that to a different level and get that degree, because um, obviously expanding yourself, like you said, Garrett, and and continuing to develop yourself is is huge and critical, and and in a classroom setting, as well as continuing to work, is huge because you can you can utilize it day in and day out. And this current role that I'm in with this quality technical leader position, I was starting to get exposure to supply chain and uh, customer service as as I deal with the customers all the time, um, and the finance group and and pricing and uh, and all of those different aspects of the business. And I really wanted to kind of exponentially grow myself quicker in understanding these business sides that in these conversations I'm having um, and being part of. I never had sat in on a supply chain meeting call um, and other the another business um, calls. And and seeing that, I was really excited and I was like, all right, it's time to start. And with COVID, I was like, well, we're all at home anyway, so might as well uh, start now. Um, so with the choices I had made for college uh, and choosing Penn State, I had three schools really I was looking at. Um, they were Florida State, Auburn, and then Penn State. And maybe my choice is, is funny. Um, I, being that I'm in the South, I didn't really want to go to an SEC school uh, because of the competition. Um, but I also did want to go to a well-named, well named well uh, respected online program. And Penn State is, you know, top four, has the longevity and the reputation, uh, has the alumni as well. Uh, it just overall has, a, has been a well-developed program. Um, and I can still, you know, go on, go and go to the university and graduate and walk on stage. They don't, just because it's an online degree, it doesn't hold me back any. Um, and it is a big 10 school. I mean, great reputation, like I said, and it just overall, it just kind of fit when I started listening to these, you know, uh, individuals that I had, you know, conversations with and interviews with. Um, but it also helped that I didn't have to take a GRE or GMAT. So uh, depending on when you want to get your MBA, uh, additional recommendation I have, uh, if you have leadership experience and if you've been in the industry for a while, so with four years of experience and uh, two years of leading crews, uh, I was able to, to get, um, uh, I didn't have to take the GREs or GMAT, I got an exception. Uh, so that was very helpful. So that, that would be good to always look into as well, depending on how much time you have. Well, talk about making the best of a not so great situation. Uh, you know, I go back to 
Although COVID has been a heck of a time for a lot of people out there in the world, I would say that I have heard more positivity. In that. Again, I've done most of these calls during COVID. I've heard more positive positivity throughout this year than I think I've ever heard before. I mean, most people have taken this time to, you know, conquer a life goal of theirs or you know, get themselves healthier in some way or another. I mean, it's, it's just incredible, even though we've all been put under such stresses of COVID, you know, to see even you, Marcina, you know, going out and being like, you know what, I'm at home, so let's get an MBA done. Uh, again, I think it's just incredible.